New tonight, a local fashion designer is now getting the chance to showcase her work at one of the biggest stages in the country, New York Fashion Week. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight giving us a closer look at how this designer was selected and where she finds her inspiration. Three words to describe Monique Caston's design style. Just very bold, very vibrant, very colorful. Her inspiration derives from her culture. My favorite is African designs and car designs. Caston is an accountant by day and mother of three. Growing up, she says she learned how to sew watching her grandmother, but her passion for design was ignited in 2016 after making a tutu for her daughter. From there, someone else wanted a tutu, and from there, someone else wanted one, and... That's kind of where it started. Soon she was making clothing for herself and then for others. In 2020, she was even making and donating masks with matching accessories. And when times get tough, Caston finds a creative way to push through. Oh yes, the dollar store can be your best friend during this time, especially the, the fabric session, well, fabric section, which is, you know, curtains and <laughs> pillowcases <laughs> and sheets. The black fabric in this dress. The blacks from, um, she. <laughs> She's now on her way to New York Fashion Week after applying for the Ones to Watch contest through Flying Solo, a group of designers that collaborate together. An email confirming her spot in the prestigious event showed up two weeks ago. Out of hundreds and hundreds of people, they only choose 10. When I did get the letter, it was it was a bit overwhelming at first. She will have the opportunity to show off eight pieces on stage and hopes she can network her way into even more opportunities. I'm grateful. I, I never thought in millions and trillions of years that I'd be here, but I'm here. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.